Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shen and today I'm going to be doing a vlog style get ready with me. So I'm going to be doing my hair, makeup, fragrance, outfit and I'm also going to be taking you guys to the Ascot with me. So if this is something that you're interested in then just keep on watching. So I didn't actually have an outfit. <laughs> well I had an outfit but it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out. So I had to go to the shopping mall and find a dress. I ended up going to Zara and um, I found a couple of dresses that I liked. I ended up picking the blue one in the end. By the way, all of this was super last minute. I actually went to the shopping mall probably two hours before I was supposed to be ready. And it's because everything that I ordered did not come in time. Like next day delivery, four days I've been waiting, not received none of my packages. Hermes is like the worst delivery company and I feel like all these fast fashion brands love to use them. I don't know if it's because it's cheap to ship with them but my packages are always delivered late or lost. So I'm starting off with hair. I'm going to be doing a deep side part um, bun. Um, I've done loads of bun tutorials and pony tutorials on my channel so it's nothing new. Um, I did have to kind of like layer or work in layers when it came to like the swoop but apart from that the technique that I'm using is the same that I always use so I lost the audio for all of this part of the video so I'm doing a voiceover I know really frustrating I'm so mad because I really took time out to make sure that it was like a sit down talk through video because I wanted it to be a lot more vlog style but whatever um, I'm just as I said doing my bun hair I'm not gonna really talk too much for it because it's really basic all the products that I use will be linked in the description box down below if you're curious and I do use direct Amazon links so that it's a lot easier for you guys. If you buy through the links I do get like a small commission so if you don't want to use my direct links then you can just like type in the name of the product and it should come up. All the products that I use are fairly easy to find. I'm sure you can find quite a lot of them in like Boots or Superdrug. So I've basically sectioned off the swoop part from the rest of the bun and once I've laid the bun I go in and start um, working section by section for the swoop. I apply my Eco Styler Gel and then I go in with my Got To Be Glued spray so that it holds properly um, and then I make sure that I'm smoothing as I go along. Once I've finished that I just go back in and wrap all of that hair back into the bun. Moving on to makeup, I'm starting off with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. For foundation, I'm mixing my Dior Backstage Foundation in the shade 5N and my NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade Macau. And this combo is flawless, okay? Flawless. I love mixing these two foundations together. They're really nice by themselves, but I love mixing them together. As usual, I'm going in with my Fast Base Stick Foundation from Makeup Revolution in the shade F16 to contour. I wasn't trying to go for anything too full coverage. I wanted my face to look really like the in flawless, but um, still natural, if that makes sense. I'm using my e.l.f. camo concealers and I'm using all three which is so ex excessive you guys do not need to do this but I'm just extremely extra so I started off with my deep chestnut and that's really to like cover it's like almost the same um, color as my complexion and then I go in with deep olive which is a little bit more yellow which will like brighten my under eye and then I went in with deep caramel which is a little bit more lighter which will um, highlight my under eye so that's the reason why I used all three but it really is not necessary I was just being a little bit extra today I wanted my base to look flawless um, because I knew I wasn't gonna be wearing like a lot of eyeshadow or other things like that guys you need to try this Chanel powder it is so so flawless it just melts into the skin you can see it here this is like the perfect powder if ever you want like a natural look but you still want your under eyes to be set and be and highlighted I'm bronzing using my Morphe Glamour Bronze in the shade Phenom. 
not a step that I do regularly but I decided to set my whole face using my Fenty powder in the shade 385 I just wanted my makeup to be flawless and like bulletproof so I decided to go in with two blushes today starting off with my sleek Sahara blush I absolutely love this blush this is like my holy grail blush and I will never stop using this blush it's like the perfect bronzy shade for like that bronze suntan look um, and then I went in with my new Dior backstage blush in the shade 001 pink and this just gave me like a flush of um, colour to my face so that I look a little bit more you know healthy and youthful so no eyeshadow or lashes today I just went in on my lids with some setting powder and some mascara I think this is the Maybelline something mascara I can't remember it will be in the description box down below but yeah I just wanted to look really youthful and simple so I picked up the new gloss bomb heat lip gloss and I love this I have been wearing this non-stop so all I did was take off the foundation that was on my lips I didn't even line my lips I just popped on the gloss and that was it this gloss just makes your lip look so juicy and it just keeps your lips like moisturized all day I'm gonna set with my Milk Hydro Book um, setting spray and that's basically it for the makeup look. So I'm just finishing up my hair with a donut bun. I do like to go back in and secure my donut bun with another hairband. So the hat that I wore in the end was this hat from Amazon and this is how I wore it. I wore it to the side um, like this. It has a pin on it that you can stick it in your hair or you can basically put the headband on. I prefer the pin because I just think it looks a lot better than the headband because my hair isn't covering it. Um, so yeah, this is the hat with the hair. For fragrance, I was wearing the new KR Lee Invite Only Amber 23. The best way I can describe this perfume is um, YSL Black Opium mixed with Oud. It smells very similar to it. But it has like that oody kind of smell so yeah that's hair makeup and fragrance i'm going to show you guys my outfit now okay so this is the outfit i got this dress from zara and it's basically a wrap dress i did have to take the dress down where my boobs was so that it didn't like move around and like expose myself and i did have like a lot of like exposure going on um when i was walking because it's a wrap dress but i feel like this isn't like enough material um, so I had to put on some black cycling shorts thank goodness I did that because I was exposed down there so many times um, apart from that I think the dress is really really nice and it fits so good the quality of the dress is superb um, I did pick mine up in an extra small I could have gone to a, a small but I think the extra small looks okay so I picked up these shoes from I saw it first um, I'll link them down below they basically are some skinny heels with like bow at the front um, the color is more cream than it is like white or off-white um, I did actually scuff them and they're like so dirty now um, because it's like grass in the area so um, these probably wasn't the most appropriate heels to wear but I think that they match the dress really really nicely um, I did have some blue shoes that I picked up but I just felt like <laughs> there wasn't enough contrast going on because my hat's already blue and the dress is blue so I felt like the white was perfect or the off-white whatever color these are so this is basically what the shoes look like with the dress I really really like them with the dress they are not comfortable at all <laughs> these shoes are on a scale of 1 to 10 on uncomfortable painful and not the best made 10 being the worst 1 being the best this is a solid 9 solid 9 <laughs> And then finally for bag, I paired it with my green Zara bag. This is like my favourite bag now. I just love green and I love that green is in fashion now as like a pop of colour. So yeah, this was the outfit and 
and yeah, I quite liked it. So to get to the location, we took a train to Waterloo and then from Waterloo, we were supposed to take another train. However, we missed that train by about two minutes. So we ended up having to take a cab from that point. Um, when we got to the station and we ordered the cab, because there was four of us, they ended up telling us that we could only have two people inside of the cab. So we, two of us had to go ahead and then the other two had to stay behind and order another cab. It was crazy. It was actually mad. We were running, we were running late. Um, there was just tons going on. It was just not how I imagined the day would go you know I didn't have any outfit and then I had to rush and get an outfit and then had to rush and get the train and then had to rush and get a cab and still missed food um, which was so annoying because we ended up buying tickets that had food and drink included so if you do decide to go to the Ascot I'd probably advise just getting entry tickets only um, because you're restricted with the time that you are allowed to get food and they restrict you on what type of drinks that you can buy with the vouchers and it works out to be the same price wise so I have to say I really enjoyed the journey from the station to the Ascot race course in the cab it was just beautiful to just come out of like the tall high-rise buildings in the city and the fast life and just being around like all of this forest and nature stuff We finally just got here. <laughs> we had to drop two because, well, we had to leave two behind yeah. because the cab um, will I only take two of us. So, we missed food, <laughs> which was at half three, and we've arrived at 35 past three. <laughs> Literally by five minutes. We actually missed the other train by two minutes. Yeah, two, two, <laughs> one or two minutes. So, yeah. We're about to go in now. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, that's the building. It's massive. I think my sister and my friend is probably about four or five minutes away. So. He moves in to take his position in 10. Bashir goes in. Uh, here comes documenting. Won the race 12 months ago, got store number four. It was such a great experience, I really enjoyed myself, the staff was really lovely, the venue was really nice, it wasn't as formal as I thought it would be, the only thing that I'd say is that it's really hard to get seats to sit and eat, but apart from that I really really enjoyed the experience. Thank you.